Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Tangled Ismiths between Anakin and Kamar. I'm Shadow 33 your commentator, and let's get started. So, Tangled Ismiths, as you can see, has water. And both players can see that. Well, okay, actually, Kmart can see it. Anarchid is kind of going a bit risky, going for a very quick light vehicle factory. Not bad for speed, but hovercrafts, which is what Kmart is going for, will actually be able to take advantage of all of this beautiful, beautiful water. Isn't it shiny and nice? But yeah, hovercrafts can go over water without issue. They have the same pathing limitations as vehicles, except the water. Vehicles, of course, can pretty much only go on flat terrain, relatively flat terrain. But they are. Let's see. They pretty, cannot go on these. Plateaus without some transport. However, it doesn't matter as so much for Anarchid. He's going straight for Slashers. As you saw before, not that non standard. Slashers just taking out the Ismus itself, making sure that Kamar has to take the water around. Kamar on the other hand, going for very early Halberds, and that will be interesting because those very early Halberds will mean he can just go past these Slashers. As long as they don't attack the Slashers, he can go straight past them and right into Anarchid's base with going through the Ismus. Why he do that, I don't know, but he can. And Anarchid, kind of surprisingly, kind of a bit out of character for him, actually, not getting a lot of defenses at his main base. Going, looks like, instead for a very direct attack with his commander, his commander getting... just has a rocket launch his first morph. Actually, looks like he is going directly for an attack, and this halberd is no longer defended, no longer has its... I don't know, the shield icon's up there, I'm not sure why, because the, the halberd loses that defensive bonus when it starts to attack, and it was attacking for sure. And as we saw it went down, the other halberd is much more wisely going along the water, making sure that it doesn't get any direct attacks in. And Anarchid just feeding on this halberd corpse for his own purposes. Possibly nefarious. Definitely involve metal. System failure imminent. Well, at the same time, it looks like some terraform going on for Kmar. Not a bad idea. He is building up a nice little wall here. Just making sure that these vehicles can't get directly in. One of the reasons I'm a little bit surprised that Anarchid went for vehicles is because while Terramorform is not especially common, it's still a thing that anyone can do with a constructor. So, the Ismus has been blocked off. There is no way for these vehicles to get into as this purple here. That is perfectly blocking. There is no way for Anarchid to get his vehicles into Kmar's base short of a gunship plant to get a transport going. So at this point, Anarchid basically has to try to defend his own borders and build up to a gunship plant, or just build a gunship plant and abandon vehicles entirely. Frankly, I'm not entirely sure what he was planning on doing. Getting a Dominatrix, not a bad idea, probably going to try to capture whatever units come in. Well, not probably. Going to try to capture whatever units come in and use those in order to get back to Kmar's base, so Kmar doesn't have quite such an uncontested advantage. But right now, Kmar has an advantage, and it's pretty sizable. He has four mexes to one, well now to two, but... Still, Scalpel coming in, getting rid of one of the Slashers. This Dominatrix not in range to be able to actually deal with that. So that's not especially useful. Can't say that's actually going to help out too much. Really, that is actually kind of unfortunate. And we see that both players do have radar of the Ismus. See, Kmar definitely does, and Anarchid as well. Anarchid actually has radar all the way into Kmar's base. So you can see what's going on from there. He knows what Kmar's up to. Somewhat. He doesn't notice that a penetrator is coming up, which is rather important, though a little bit soon, I think. It looks like probably what's going to happen is this penetrator is going to come around and try to take out what it can just from the side without resistance. However, Anarchid very quickly building up an amphibious operations plant. This is going to be... This is going to change it. This is going to allow Anarchid to actually do something in this game, because amphibious bots will be able to go through the water. They'll be able to go through the water rather than just going above it. They'll go under the surface, which means... The hovercrafts can't stop them until they get into the base, and they can easily just come around the back here, even, and harass in the back. The hovercrafts would have to move out of position, or have to be in position already to hit them. So it could be interesting. I wait with bated breath to see what will happen with these aquatic units here. While at the same time, we see Kmar getting a gunship plant going. This is probably a bit more useful. And amphibious bots are definitely powerful. This gunship plant is going to provide a bit more flexibility, at least for a little while. Though, on the other hand, why is he going for gunships when slashers are out? Slashers are... Well, right in their tooltip it says, Ranged Support Anti-Air Truck. It's right in the tooltip. Not sure why he expects that will be effective, but apparently he does. At any rate, doesn't matter so much. What really matters is amphibious operations plant coming up, and a duck coming up as well. Powerful single-shot missile launcher-based unit. 
but it does have a very powerful missile. It's expensive, but powerful, and will get Anarchid out of this mess with the terraforming. Of course, on the other hand, he could have always just sent a commander or his or constructor up here and made a bridge or dropped this down, restored it a bit. I mean, at this point, Kamar is actually blocked off as well. His penetrator cannot get through that terraform wall. He can go around it, but it can't... Well, I guess it looks like he's just trying to defend it, make sure that what I proposed will not happen. And the Dominatrix getting into range, getting dangerously into range of the Penetrator. It's going to go down to that Penetrator right about now-ish, or, or not. Nope, apparently the Penetrator can't actually hit it over the wall. That's bizarre. Maybe it can't see it. It needs a direct line of sight. There we go! Dominatrix gone down without having done a single thing. That, I guess, is a matter of direct line of sight. The Penetrator, I, I suppose, doesn't try to hit through radar? Lot. Regardless, Kamar is taking some damage from this duck here. Torpedo is actually able to deal the damage that they need to from underwater. The commander here cannot do anything to units underwater. This duck doing a bang up job getting rid of the commander, actually. Half health already. And having taken no damage itself, a. Well, not a bad try use of the blast wing there to try to get rid of the duck. Did not kill it, however. The duck may accidentally kill itself getting too close to its targets, but it doesn't matter. It's able to completely control the water down here, while Anarchid at the same time gets his commander over to the southeast side of the map, building up his own metal extractor. So Anarchid rebuilding himself, getting himself to a power powerful position, while some flails come up. Not the best move, actually. No air units coming up, so this anti-air will not be at all useful. The duck, however, is the big threat, and there's only this urchin. This torpedo launcher is the only thing that can really be used to fight it off at the moment. But Tangle Ismus is not a bad map for amphibious units. Probably a better map for hovercrafts, but still not bad for amphibious units. And a duck down here as well to take care of the penetrator if it gets out of the water itself. That's actually a bit risky. The duck will need to get out of the water to take the penetrator out. And it does so! Getting itself in a position where it can't easily be hit back and able to take out the penetrator in three shots. Four shots. Not quite three shots. But still, that penetrator is going down. The duck just tailing it, making sure that it cannot do anything if the duck can get out of the water. And since there is this shallow section all around here... That's definitely the case, and this Penetrator not able to stop the anti-air vehicle that will be more useful for Anarchid than anyone's would be for Kmar. Kmar not fighting air right now. And Slasher able to start taking out that Halberd. Another one coming in to take out the Penetrator. It won't be any good, mind you. Penetrators are, of course, going to be way too effective against units at range than any other unit at range could be against them. That's the whole point of them. At the same time, the Duck to the northeast getting destroyed by a mix of rapiers and torpedo launchers. The penetrator also going down to the duck, and a duck coming in from the west side, able to start just taking out everything. This is why I was not at all surprised that Anakin went for amphibious bots. Quite powerful, and on this map they can easily hide, especially against hovercrafts. Hovercrafts cannot hit amphibious units. They have no means of doing so. Unless the amphibious unit gets silly and comes above the water. That was a bit of a bad move. But still, that duck... That duck did some powerful things. And here we go with the Crasher coming in for anti-air. Should be able to get rid of these rapiers. They're doing what they can, but really it's not enough. More ducks coming up for Anarchy. And it's pointing out, these ducks are fairly expensive. It's 180 metal each. And at this point, though, everything that Anarchy is building is quite expensive. Kamar, on the other hand, he's also going for expensive units. Well, these scrubbers here are not expensive. They're hovercraft raider units. I was quite surprised not to see them at first, but... Everything else is going to be expensive. So both these players are playing with few units. Really have to focus on being careful in tactical engagements. And right now I think Anarchy has been winning those. Especially getting rid of that Penetrator. That was huge. That Penetrator Corpse is lying in the bottom. 1,000 metal right there. Gotten rid of by 180 metal duck. That was definitely not a fair exchange. Kmar falling behind us as a result of that. These scrubbers are kind of what he needs to use. If he can get around and do some harassment... Especially on these metal extractors. If he gets across the Isthmus, goes down to these metal extractors, just goes across his base to the metal extractors here and takes them out. I think Anarchid's Raider can see them. And let's see. Yes, Anarchid's Raider would... Radar, I should say, would be able to see them. But it still would be fairly quick. The Ducks actually wouldn't be able to counterattack too effectively. If, if they came around the side, just along this east end of the map here, it doesn't look like they're doing so. They're massing up along the west side of the map, trying to defend against any Ducks that might be coming in. But the Ducks are coming on the east side of the map. Some scalpels in place, but they... Well, actually, they might be, they'll be effective. Might be the most effective, though. And a blast wing as well in place. Suicide bombing unit for the gunship. Yeah, 
Zero K has a lot of suicide units. It's quite interesting that way. And a Merle coming up here. This should pretty much counter the terraform wall. Merles are very powerful ranged artillery units. I think they rival the range of the penetrator. And they certainly have enough range to hit that gunship plant directly. Getting rid of one of the scrubbers that was half built too. Not a bad thing either. So Kmar is now taking action. He is going with these scrubbers. He is trying to do what he can with them to take out everything that Anarchid has. And Anarchid right now actually doesn't have a whole lot on the ground. He has quite a bit more in the water. But... Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Jerry 33 Apologizing once again for my computer screwing up. This time it just automatically restarted. Not sure why. So we were watching Anakin versus Kmar on Tangle Ismus. We saw quite a bit of back and forth there with Kmar building up a nice little terraform wall, and then Anakin going in and just going for baby spots, using Duck to take care of a lot of stuff around the side of the map, and taking quite a bit of aquatic assets while Kmar is almost focusing entirely on the land. All those aquatic assets haven't been destroyed by the aforementioned Ducks, the amphibious units used by Anarchid. So right now we have Anarchid coming in with some ducks to try to fend off scrubbers that had come into his base from Kmar, trying to take care of what was going on. And scrubbers are doing a fair bit of harassment, actually quite a lot of harassment. Six scrubbers coming in, getting rid of all these metal charges, and given that they are Gauss, using Gauss weapons, Gauss weapons can penetrate, which means they don't have to worry about stuff getting in the way. Obviously, this caretaker is going to go down fairly quickly. As well, these radar tower and metal are going down at the same time, so Anarch is use losing a lot of economy. In fact, his economy is almost half that of Kmar's. Kmar's is 20, and Anarch's is about 14. So it's about two-thirds that of Kmar's. So Kmar's getting ahead right now. But really, what matters is going to be how Kmar manages to capitalize on this, if he does. Anarch is getting an airplane plant slowly but surely now, especially as his economy has been bombed to quite a weaker state than he used to be. Surprisingly, the scrubber's not going over to the east side of the map. I don't think... Kmar is aware of its existence. No, he is not. His radar is not able to get that far, and he hasn't bothered to scout there. So he does not know that there are most of Anarchid's metal extraction. Most of Anarchid's economy is over in the southeast corner of the map. Going for a frontal assault instead, and it's not a terrible idea, but these ducks are doing a great job getting rid of these rapiers, or doing a good enough job at least. Given that they cost a... Actually, the rapiers are quite a bit more expensive than ducks. Not a bad thing, and at this point, it's really just a matter of these rapiers trying to do what they can to deal the damage they can, but Anakid doesn't have to worry as much about it because his main economy has not been touched. Now, of course, if Kmar does hit that economy, he is Anakid is going down, and going down fast. His main base has taken, actually, taken quite a bit of damage. In fact, his factors are mostly destroyed. His commander is actually taking quite a bit of damage, too. These scalpels, doing, scalpels I should say, doing a very good job. But his commander able to not quite finish them off and a Razor's Kiss used to defend against the Rapiers, taking them out as well. The Halberd, however, able to continue harassment afterwards, not being an area in it. But the Scallop should be able to finish it off. If nothing else, it's been pushed out. However, another dozen Scrubbers coming in from the northwest. They really need to just, he needs to scout along the southeast here. He, doesn't, he still doesn't know that this exists. He still does not see it. Kmar does not know that there is this economy there. He's completely in the dark. But these scrubbers are doing a pretty good job with the frontal assault. And Anarchid's commander is unable to defend too well. In fact, he's his base continuing to take a lot of damage, losing what he had left, and that airplane plant also going down. He didn't spend a lot of money on it, but still it's going down. Another caretaker going down after being almost completely constructed. Anarchid is losing a lot while Kmar is expanding quite nicely along the entire north side of the map. Well, at least the northwest side of the map, continuing to build scrubbers, and his economy being, like I said, pretty much double right now, or two-thirds, and now he's found it! He has found it! Anarchid is out of this game, I'd say. I don't see any way for him to get out of it. He's losing his economy. There's nothing he can do, but he has no way to defend against this. He has no... If he has any ducks around here, they are not going to be effective. They are not able to hit anything. They can't actually get out of the water enough to deal any damage. Though he does not. He only has scallops right now, and they aren't going to be particularly effective. So right now, Anarchid basically has nothing. Well, wait, what? Oh, he has Reclaim. That's what he has. That's all he has. In fact, that's actually kind of scary. All he has right now is Reclaim and his commander's inherent income and this one Metal Extractor. That's about it. Right now, running on 6 Metal Income against Kmar's 22. I do not see a way for Anakin to get out of this. He might manage, though. I mean, he is still a really good player. He might have some plans. He might have something up his sleeve. 
not Morphing's Commander at all, not going for anything like that. Just going for more builders, actually. Continuing to build more builders and trying to keep his base at least somewhat intact, trying to rebuild somewhat. Nothing going out to the water to try to rebuild his metal extractor, surprisingly. And not surprisingly, nothing going to the back of his base to rebuild those metal extractors either, given that the scrubbers probably know about all of them. Well, I should say, Kamar knows about all of them and will send the scrubbers over to them. The scrubbers do not operate autonomously. Well, I should say, mostly do not operate autonomously. The, the unit AI in this game is actually pretty good, but they don't operate that autonomously. You still need to command them to go over to that area of the map, and they are not. They're going for trying to finish off Anarchid's base, get rid of his last few units, get rid of his last few scallops that are being built up, as well as his leveler, which is not going to be a problem at all. I don't see Kamar... Actually, Kamar does not see the scallop down here, and it is able to... Well, it's trying to do what it can, at least, trying to get to this torpedo launcher, but it looks like neither it nor the torpedo launcher can hit each other, so it's just a stalemate right now. While Kmart going into the south, trying to take out what he can, trying to get rid of this amphibious bot factory primarily, is his main threat. The vehicles don't really matter too much. Stardust, Riot Turret doing a pretty decent job getting rid of these halberds, but even then, not quite enough. A bit surprising the scrubbers didn't come in and just finish off the amphibious plant, though. I'm actually really surprised that happened. I don't know why he didn't just go for it. Maybe he's suspecting Anarchid has more than he appears to? I mean, the Stardust is definitely an issue, but... It's not that big of an issue. The Scrubbers can stay out of its range. The Scrubber attack range is... Uh... Hey, fa welcome back, 0K fans. This is three. Sorry about all the intermittent technical issues, but... So you see the last game? Obviously, Anarchid lost... Put up a good fight, and... Very interesting use of aquatic units. Very, very interesting use of amphibious units. Probably should have attacked a bit more to the north, but... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, despite the issues and constant delays. And have a good night, everybody.